So I've had a lot of people asking about a walk around for this bike. Uh, if you've seen my other video uh, of me just riding it, um, you may have been one of the people requesting. Um, so here's a quick walk around of my CB750. The tank is off of a 80s style CB900. The seat cowl is from Dime City Cycles. Um, shortened it, when you buy it, it's probably about two inches longer than what it is. I had that cut down um, to kind of shorten up the bike a little bit. I'm no fabricator or welder, um, but as you can see right here, that's kind of uh, made a bracket to kind of straighten out the frame a little bit. Um, I plan on stripping the whole thing down um, and actually straightening out the frame itself with a whole new rear end part of the frame there. It's hard to see from this angle, but I had to move the pins that the tank actually attaches to. I had to move them up about inch and a half, two inches um, for this tank to attach to the frame and also be up far enough so that you weren't actually sitting on the tank. The exhaust is all stock. Um, the only thing that I did is I took the baffles out um, just to make it rumble a little bit more. Um, eventually I would like to do uh, the four to one exhaust, um, shorten it up a little bit. Passenger pegs have been taken off, painted over. As far as air box removal, uh, a lot of guys say that you can't do it. Um, and I will say it's very difficult with these carbs. Um, they're a CV carb, it relies on vacuum to, for them to operate properly. Um, after finding a website, uh, I'll post the link in the description below, um, I found a jet kit um, plug and play, put it in, uh, it worked great um, with, the, with the air filters, with the pods and the baffles taken out. The website was great. You basically tell them what bike you have. Uh, you tell them what you've done to it, whether it's baffles taken out, uh, AirPods, whatever the case may be. Uh, they, and they put together a kit that's going to work great for you. Um, took me about a half hour to take the uh, car bank out, put the uh, new jets in and put it all back together. Started right up perfectly. Took the stock handlebars out, put some Vortex clip-ons on, um, which I also purchased from Dime City Cycles. The front is pretty much stock, a uh, stock fender, headlight, gauges, all that stuff's original. The tail light is an integrated tail light I found on Amazon for, uh, I think I paid like 100 bucks for it. Um, it's not connected to the to the tail lights right now. Right now there's no, or it's not connected to the blinkers at all. Um, I just use hand signals on this bike. Do a quick start up. This thing hasn't been ridden or even started in probably two weeks since the uh, distinguished gentleman's ride. Let's see what we can do. Mm -hmm. Fuel's on. that I threw in the carbs made a huge difference. Uh, you don't have all the popping and everything in the exhaust. I'm at an idle. Right now it's idling no choke. No choke needed for it to sit here and idle. Runs great. A fun little bike.